Yo, can, can y'all see this thing in frame? I feel like it's like mad in frame, but I mean, it's gotta be there. We're doing an unboxing. We're trying to do a semi-legitimate unboxing, so I gotta have some type of second camera angle. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button along with the notification bell, bottom right hand corner. Now this type of video is not is not normally one that I do on the channel. If you stumbled here because you are here trying to get some like iPad Pro info, like welcome. This is not the normal type of thing that we do on the channel. So I'm gonna give like a whole like three minute, you know, a whole three minute monologue about why I purchased this. So if you're not really interested in that, skip to like, skip to this moment right here in the time mark on the screen and you'll actually get the unboxing of the video. But if you wanna stick around and listen to why I purchased this and what it means for the channel, yada, 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 then, you know, stick around. Maybe you'll like what you see enough that you decide that you wanna subscribe and I would be greatly in your, I would be indebted to you forever for that. I've said it for the entire time and I and I say it every single time that I make a major purchase for the channel. So this right here, obviously thank you to Patreon for everybody that supports me over there. I am full time on YouTube because of Patreon. I say it literally every single video. Patreon saved the channel whenever it was whenever it was facing deletion. Deletion? Is that a, that's a word, right? Deletion? I, every, the, the, have you ever said like a word a lot and the more you say it, it sounds less and less like a word? Anyway, that's happening right now. The channel was on the verge of me being required to delete it for my job, the job that I held before I went full time on YouTube. They were requiring because of the because of the manner that I acted on YouTube that it was a reputational risk to the investment firm that I worked for. So they were like, either you keep, you know, if you want your job, you got to delete the channel. Basically, Patreon was like, nah, nah, nah. We need you around here. So here's some doll hairs and keep doing your thing and keep grinding out your dream, my guy. So again, a turn and will for always be grateful for everybody that's allowing me to live this dream because of that I want everybody to see where their money goes and this right here is one of the major purchases along with this bad boy the reason that I purchased this is because as you know like one of my goals in 2021 it was actually a goal in 2020 I just didn't have the time to get around to it I want to expand my merch like the merch on the channel is is very is very simple it's very quintessential it, it's not it's not anything like you're a walking billboard for the channel you're it's an inside type thing if you know you know I would not wear merch that's a walking billboard for somebody else I want it to be a little more thought-provoking I want the I want the design to be a little deeper than just a hey, the third earnest go subscribe here's my face you know I wouldn't wear that shit so I don't want to make y'all wear that so having said all that I want to expand the merch designs I want to actually put what's in my brain I want to put it onto onto designs for t-shirts I want it to be more like an actual legitimate like limited drop t-shirt line like I'll come up with five designs at a time pre-orders and then and then cut off the pre-orders and then they're never made again like I wanted to have some type of exclusivity to it I wanted to have some type of like insider knowledge still like yo I'm supporting Ernest and at the same time it's a dope shirt so that way the whole experience from like front end to back end you know that you're supporting me creatively because I'm the one designing and producing the shirt and you're and you're getting a dope shirt that you would normally want not normally want a dope shirt that you would actually like want to wear other than just supporting me and because that was always the end goal for the merch I didn't want to do any kind of designing because I didn't have a way to actually like render it and make it digital I, I didn't want to design analog with like pencil and paper and then have it have to send it to somebody and pay them to make it digital like I want to do the whole process start to finish so this is where this is required so that way I can just draw directly on here turn it into a file that's readable by like by print shops and then it's just front end to back end me and I know going this route is not going to be the most profitable I'm obviously in the hole right here with this thing but it's it's the way that's gonna it's the way that's gonna satisfy my creativity and it's the way that's gonna be able to say like yo I support Ernest and his dope ideas and look at this fire ass shirt I got out of it you know what I'm saying having said all that as you can see we got this little setup I'm trying to actually like do a legitimate unboxing you think we could actually do that right now let's give it a go all right like I said it's not gonna be the most like legitimate prof I'm not I Justine over here you know I'm not unbox therapy I'm not gonna have a ten thousand dollar unboxing rig we just kind of doing this thing on the fly 
I'm just going to go ahead and say that's part of the appeal of the channel. You know, we're not too professional, but we're a little bit professional. We got the iPad Pro fourth generation. I got the 128 gigabyte version, Wi-Fi only and, and space gray. With, with everything nowadays, with everything in the cloud, with, five, with what I plan on doing with this, I don't plan on doing anything crazy, photo editing and t-shirt designing. I don't need any kind of crazy space. I don't need a terabyte in this thing. I don't need I don't need cellular either. So this right here, this runs you 999. This is the 12.9 13 inch. I'm just going to say 13 inch the whole time. You know what I mean? It's actually 12.9. But I got this and then the Apple Pencil, the second generation. This one set me back 129.99. So all in like 1250 or 1270 or something like that. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me. I post bangers over there. But if you follow me on Twitter, you know, because I posted about it. I posted a poll. Should I get the iPad Air or should I get the iPad Pro for what we're trying to do? And the reason I posted that is because the iPad Air is brand new. And it basically it basically does everything that the iPad Pro does minus some major features and it's such a price difference that I actually considered heavily like getting the iPad Air but the main reason that I didn't is because this iPad right here the main difference for what I'm trying to do with it is the screen like the the screen refresh rate a 60 Hertz refresh rate is, is normally enough for most people for like 99% of all applications but because I'm drawing on it because I need to see real time the pencil work I went with this strictly because it has 120 Hertz refresh rate so that basically makes it almost imperceptible to the human eye so it looks like I'm just drawing with a pencil on paper that 120 Hertz refresh rate is what sold me on the iPad along with the bigger size obviously but that's smart of Apple it's smart of Apple to keep the 120 Hertz at the pro level not necessarily to make people have to jump up and pay that extra $300 or whatever it costs but mainly because most people are not going to even notice the difference they're not going to utilize what the 120 Hertz can provide so if you don't need if you're thinking about an iPad and you don't need need to draw you don't need to write consider doing the iPad Air because that's what I would do I mean obviously it doesn't have the LiDAR it doesn't have the three camera setup all that who's taking pictures with their iPad anyway you know but let's take a look at what we got here as you know about the channel if you've seen me unbox anything else in the past that I've purchased for the channel you know to me presentation is literally everything if you don't care about the presentation, the way that you present your product, how proud you are for it, that means to me, you probably don't care about the product or the end user experience enough. The first, is, the first impression is everything. And anybody that knows anything about Apple, their presentation is immaculate. Like, just look at this. We obviously got the pull tab right here, which is a major, ma like it's something that you don't normally consider, but it just means that Apple is considering everything that the end user has to experience, including opening this package. Nobody wants to be like, gnawing at the plastic on a on a thousand dollar ipad and the same goes for this you would think that they wouldn't have done it on this either but there it is it's fire you know and then the packaging is the same you you've seen that you've seen apple products be unboxed before this is nothing new you know the casper side part two and this time we're gonna get f but let's get to unboxing this thing shall we i actually haven't i haven't purchased anything since apple started implementing this tab so i'm excited to open it because i've never felt this satisfaction before so we're just gonna pull back on this oh anybody remember salad fingers orgasmic the failing of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmic <laughs> and then we just keep going around i assume so let's un let's take this pad let's take this wrapping off does it just shake out <laughs> does it not just shake out in my line boom again the tab system there's one right there so that way you're not like trying to dig into the corner again presentation you just pull on this obviously this is the ipad nice and wrapped up yo i completely forgot that it's completely flat this, this is <laughs> this is stupid nice yo and then obviously we're gonna flip this around just look at this man they just put like the indention right there so the ipad sits flat like damn USB-C charger I think if I'm not mistaken because the iPad Air gets the 30 the 30 watt charger I think this is the the 28 watt if I'm not mistaken don't quote me on that because I could be mistaken because I'm not a tech reviewer you know we're just we're just a normal dude just just doing doing normal dude things checking out their tech yo man I'm like I'm super pumped about this thank you patreon once again all right let's open the pencil the pencil should be straightforward as well just pull the tab again Ah. 
Bye. Bro, just look at that packaging, right? Look, Apple Pencil, pull out, designed in California. Again, pull this out, and there it sits with another tab. Sloop. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yo, that was sexy. Ugh. Look at that. Mm. Say what you want about Apple. Their products look nice as f Man, I am pumped up, ladies and gentlemen. Liquid retina, somebody explain to me what liquid retina display is that? One thing that I don't like about Apple is the way that they market their products. I mean, I get it. I get that maybe not the common end user can see through the marketing, but liquid retina display, the fastest processor of all time can process three trillion units of data a second. It's like Daryl in the office when he says that he's moved seven billion units of paper. Seven billion, Daryl? What's seven billion units? Pieces of paper. Hola, como estas? Slide to open. English, boom. Select your region, Avi, USA. Quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. If you don't have a, a, a show, to make sure you're running iOS 11 or later. All right, this is one thing that I love about Apple products is how easily, how easily, how easy and seamless it is to do this here. So what we're gonna do, oh, look, my phone already, I didn't even do anything. So obviously, unlock to continue. Let's see what we got here. Hold your new iPad up to the camera, position the circle. Can y'all see that thing? And then we just hold this right here. <laughs> Finish on new iPad. Keep this phone near your iPad while information is transferred. For those of you that don't know, like I bought a streaming PC. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to become PC master race on stream. I, you, you've seen the issues. My last stream was like cut off because I can't hardwire into, I can't hardwire into the internet. So my Wi-Fi cuts off and the stream cuts off midstream. Like it's a bitch. I want to go PC master race and I bought like a super nice PC. Spent like $4,400 on it. I don't know why I said 44. It was clearly 45. That was a lie. But anyway, I had to send it back because during the setup process and unlocking RAM and BIOS and all this, once I unlocked the RAM and restarted it, it just didn't work. You can say all you want about your PC Master Race. I get it. I get the whole appeal now that I purchased one. But you cannot deny the fact that iPhones and Apple products just work out of the box. There is none of this. There is no bullshit. I thought I had to set this up right now and it's just like, oh, hold your phone near it. Boom, set up, continue. Now how to set up Face ID. Let's get started. Can y'all see this? Ooh. Yes, sir. Second Face ID scan. They're probably like, damn, this motherfucker has good light around him. Continue setting up Apple ID. So you see what I mean? Like it just, it just works. It just works. This thing is super nice. I don't even know how many times I can explain this. Look at this. Jesus. Set up Apple Pay. We can do that later, not on camera. I know y'all wanna see it, but I can't bust out the black card. You know, it's just, it's just, it's a faux pas. Welcome to iPad. Let's see if this pencil works. Is it not that simple? Do we have to like, is it intuitive enough to know that I'm putting the pencil there? There it is. You see that? Welcome to Apple Pencil. See, like, that is something that you don't even need to look up. It just feels, it just feels like this is the right thing to do. So you're like, let's try this. This has to be what, this has to be what you have to do. And then it is what you have to do. It's just that intuitive. Welcome to Apple Pencil. Scribble, create an instant note, switch between gestures, try to scribble. This is gonna be hard because I'm left-handed. Left-handed, trying to hold this thing and write at the same time, Jesus Christ. Hey iPad, how are you doing? This is crazy. Scratch out a word to quickly delete it. Let's take out delete. Let's take out all of this actually. Boom, this is, this is dope. Circle or draw a line through a text to easily select it. Can y'all see this? Join letters or separate words by drawing vertical lines before or after any character. Dope. You know what? I don't like any of this. We're just gonna scribble through all of that. <laughs> Yo, this is fire. Explore double tap. Double tap on your Apple Pencil to switch between the tool you're using and the eraser. All right, how do we do it? 
Double tap on your, oh, on the Apple Pencil. Oh, <laughs> you see that? I don't know. I don't know why I'm so pumped up about this. It's I'm, probably because it's how intuitive it is. And that's pretty much it. I haven't downloaded any apps. I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna use to draw the t-shirts. Am I gonna use Procreate? Am I gonna use, uh, you see that? Look at this. Apple Pencil, 87%. But yeah, I mean, that's really all that I wanted to do is show the unboxing and so y'all can experience the per the product that y'all purchased. Cause y'all purchased this product for the channel basically with your donations. That's really all that this was for. It's not like any kind of in, in depth, high tech review. Maybe one day I'll dabble in tech reviews, but that's not the pur purpose of this video. Purpose of this video was to show my gratitude and thank y'all for everything that y'all have done for the channel. But y'all, I'm excited. I'm not, I'm not even necessarily excited about the iPad or the pencil, like it's not Nice. it's dope I, I i like it a lot i'm not excited about the tool i'm excited about what's gonna come from the tool purchase you know at the end of the day ipads computers everything it, they're all just tools to eventually get to an end they're means to an end and i'm excited about the end and where we could potentially go with merch with with just creative decisions with just time lapses of drawings you know it's 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 all available now to us now that we have this one tool but that's all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say at the end of every single video, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace.